Hello, sports fans and hockey fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today, I got a preseason hockey game for you um, using the 2022-23 uh, um, uh, set. And it, this is my uh, OHA, the Old Time Hockey Association. Uh, league that I am a member of and I have the Montreal Canadiens in the league now again it's not the real Montreal Canadiens it's going to be the Montreal Canadiens with the players that I've acquired over the last few years there are a lot of Canadians on the team uh, because we have we start each season with what we call hometown heroes any new player that is on your franchise team you begin the season with he he's not in the draft and available for everybody to draft so um but we have not had our we have not had our draft for this year so these are just the players from uh last year that i have um that i've had um and that i've cut down to but still i have enough for every line so uh, and I think most of these teams probably do have enough guys to fill out a team. So, with that having been said, I'm going to do a preseason game between my team, the Canadians, and what I like to call our arch enemies, the uh, Colorado Avalanche. So, we will do a new unscheduled game from the OHA and we'll have them be the visitors the uh, Colorado Avalanche and that will be a computer run team obviously we will go back down to the OHA again we'll grab my Canadians the home team Montreal Canadians and uh, I will put in uh, computer lines and human decisions and we will with that we will go to the to the arena and we've got Bobrovsky in net which is which is fine I want to see how good he is anyway he's going to be the uh, goalie that plays most of the time for me um, he'll switch off with uh, uh, Anthony Stolars, who is my other goaltender, <clears throat> my other main goaltender, and I also have Jake Allen, who is on the Canadians in real life. So, uh, first of all, we're going to go up here to um, Options, Game, and we are going to um, we're going to put the uh, base delay at one I believe at one second I think we want to do that so anyway hopefully that um, hopefully that does well so anyway um, and I think we've got everything else set up so we are ready to go with puck drop And they are going to all already have a shot. Ranton and takes a shot, and it, the rebound goes to the defense, and that is McNabb who has it. Um, Savard has the option to intimidate. Well, he, we lost the puck, and Savard has the option to intimidate Alex Petrangelo, and I'm going to say yes, we want to do that. He did not, he was not successful in intimidation on that, and so they are going to shoot, and that is going to be um, a rebound, and the offensive right defenseman has the shot, and that is going to be a uh, save, and we will give it, I'm going to give it to Suzuki, he's across from a C, and he's a good stick handler, so puck handler. Um and let's see they got back inside again mckinnon the dangerous mckinnon 
And uh, again, Bobrovsky makes the save. It goes to McNabb. Um, and now finally, it looks like we've got it. Chris Tanev, who I just traded for this offseason. He was actually on Colorado. And I traded with my buddy Tom Bunch to get him. Um, hmm. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he did penetrate. So Lowry, he passed to Lowry. And uh, Lowry's going to get a rebound. What happens with the rebound? Offensive left defenseman if a three. And he was not. So, But Holden gets the puck. Uh, Nick Holden. And he is going to lose the puck in front of the net. Vanacek makes the save. Vanacek is his goaltender. Uh, and they get inside with Confier, and uh, he's going to lose the puck to the left wing, to my left wing, and that is Victor Olofsson. And uh, let's see here. Possible, what, we've got, oh, they man, we lost the puck again, and now we've got Ocposo right in front, and he's got a goal, 1-16. And it is not a goal. It's an 18. That forces a, say, a face off to Bobrovsky's left, which is sweetness. And uh, so let's see what happens. Player penetrates again. This is Gerard. Gerard with the shot. It's going to be a save. And the defensive center, which is Bonino, is going to take it. Um, I am going to give it to, yeah, let's give it to Gallagher, I suppose. Um, and Gallagher is inside. Inside shot for Gallagher. But that's going to be a save in the right wing. He has, we are at the 13.55 mark of the first period. And he has a 6-2 lead in shots. But a 0-0 zero, zero game. And Statsny with an outside shot. And that is going to be a save. And the line switch. And we've got. Um, David Savard picking up the puck and feeding McNabb in front of the net. And that's not good. It's going to be a save. Defensive center for the um, Colorado Avalanche. The Lanche. Suzuki took the puck and has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate inside with him. He failed to penetrate, so that means that the Avalanche are going to get the puck back. But Suzuki steals it back again and has only an outside shot. That's going to result in a save. Vanacek gets it out to Landeskog. And um, Bailey takes the puck away. Outside shot for the left wing, Thomas Tatar. I'm going to try to penetrate with Tatar. And he does get inside. Tatar inside, he gets a rebound. And the uh, rebound is going to be to the left defenseman, Giordano. He still has Giordano. That dude is older than dirt. Makar comes up with the puck. And uh, Holden takes it away and has an inside shot, a steal. He st took it, st stole out of his back pocket there. Makar has the puck back after the save by Vanacek, but Holden... Gets the puck himself again and has an outside shot. And I do want to deflect it. And Jeannot is going to take the shot. And that's going to be a save defensive center. Um, Jeannot was a guy that I traded for last season. Or no, I, I drafted him. I did not trade for him. I drafted him. Uh, Chris Wiedemann has, an out, has the option to intimidate. I'm going to say no because the, the chance is so... Um, so low, and he was a high penalty guy, I think. Um, rebound player with a defense of two or greater. We'll give it to. Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to Tanner Janot. So um, the lines change. So now it's Gallagher that has the puck, and he feeds Galchenyuk, who used to be on the Canadians, and uh, is on the well. I forget what team he ended last year on. But anyway, it wasn't the Canadians. But I got him back. And Gallagher taking the outside shot. Rebound. And uh, right wing having the rebound shot. 
And that's going to be a lose to the center. Shots are now tied up at 8 apiece, but the score is still 0-0 at the 632 mark of the first period. Suzuki, and uh, he loses it to McKinnon, and it's going back and forth. It's like a tennis game here. Braden McNabb has the option to intimidate, and I'm going to say yes. We do want to do that. Uh, Branton and Rant Rantanen has an outside shot, and it's going to be a save, and we are going to give it to Suzuki. Yes, that sounds like a good choice. And uh, Nick Suzuki with it. And they tried to intimidate Saad, Brandon Saad, but they weren't able to. And it's going to be a goalie rating and a face-off to Vanacek's right. And so we've got a face-off in the Colorado end. Shots tied at 9 apiece, 446 of the first period. I'm going to try to pass it. I'm going to try to pass it with Josh Bailey. And that is a bad pass. Landis God comes up with it. And uh, we've got Thomas Tatar with the puck. And Thomas Tatar is inside. He worked his way inside. And he has a, it's going to be a save left defenseman for them. Comes up with the puck. And we have taken the lead in shots. But not on the scoreboard yet. Nick Holden has the option to intimidate Kale McCarr. And I'm going to say yes. Let's try that. Let's go for it. And uh, no penalty. There's no penalty called. And uh, Holden gets the puck. Wrangles the puck away. But he loses it to Makar. And Makar has an outside shot. That is going to be a save. <clears throat> and our left defenseman will come away with it. That's Tanev. Well, our right defenseman comes away with it. That's Tanev. He loses it to Giordano, though. Giordano with an outside shot that's going to result in a rebound. Except that they, uh, they um, clipped it in front. And so... That's going to be a save by Bobrovsky and a face-off to his left. And uh, that's going to, we end up with it. Olofsson with the puck. Victor Olofsson. And a, he, Evan, uh, Evans had it for a, a minute, but he lost it to Klingberg. And Klingberg fed Confier on an inside shot, but it's going to be a save. Defensive left defenseman. Bobrovsky is playing great for us right here. Kulak. Kulak has it, but he loses it to Patrick Line. And Line gets a goalie rating and a save. And we are going to give it to Wiedemann. Let's give it to Wiedemann. And, uh, well, the Gerard takes the puck away. And he is going to lose and to the left wing. And that is the end of the first period. The end of the first period, we are on the short end on shots, 13 to 10, but we are still tied 0-0 with our man Bobrovsky in the net. But Petrangelo comes out with it after the uh, faceoff, but he loses it to McNabb, and then he feeds Savard right inside on top of uh, Vanacek, but that's going to be a lose, and the... Uh, Defenseman Graves has the puck for them. Um, I am going... Let's see. We're going to give the shot to Nick Suzuki. Outside shot only. And it's going to be a save. And the center will come up with the puck. Uh, and Jordy Ben has it for him. 31-year-old Jordy Ben. I am going to try to intimidate him at 55%. That's a pretty good chance. No penalty. And we take it away. Tanev has the puck. Chris Tanev with it. And he is going to uh, give it to Bailey. And from there I can feed one of these guys. Let's try Lowry. Let's give it to Lowry. Lowry with an outside shot. Right defenseman. Gets it for um, Colorado. 16-13 left in the second period. We are... Down 13 to 12 in shots, but we are in a 0 0 game. Tanev wrestles the puck away from the uh, Avalanche and he takes a shot, but it is going to be lose to the right wing. And so now the right wing, Akposo, has control. I'm going to say no on the intimidation shot. 25%. Um, I don't like those odds and I don't want to force a penalty trying to take a puck away on a, on a low chance of uh, intimidation. So we have the puck. 
now. And we lose it to Statsny. Peter Statsny has it. He is going to um, lose it to the left defenseman Kulak. So Brett Kulak comes away with the puck for us, the actual Canadian. Um, again, I'm going to say no on that. So Patrick Line with an inside shot. And it's going to be a goal 15, and that is going to go in. That one's going to go in. You knew that we were playing with fire here. So it's Patrick Line with assists from Klingberg and Samuel Girard. Face off at center ice. And uh, let's see. Visitor left wing. Line has it. Um, I am going to say no again, even though that may have cost me on that one goal from line A. And Helm is going to have a shot. He loses it to the left wing. And that's going to be Brendan Sod, And he loses it to Ranton. And so now the um, Avalanche have it. And he feeds Goudreau right in front of Bobrovsky's face. And that is going to be a goal. So the Avalanche is up 2-0 here real quick. We had a 0-0 game for almost a period and a half. But not to happen. The uh, Avalanche have gone out to a 2-0 lead. They're out shooting us 17-12. And with 12-14 left in the second, we're down 2-0. McNabb has the puck for us. Um, I am going to try to pass the puck with Suzuki. And that is going to be an inside shot for Saad. And uh, that's going to be a goalie rating, but a face-off. So it's going to be a save by Vanacek and a, and a face-off to his right. And uh, 11.41 left in the, in the second period. Tatar has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he does get inside. And so let's see if he can score with that. Um, nope, it's going to be a save, and their defensive center is going to come up with the puck, and that is Jordy Ben, or Jamie Ben. Um, but Tatar takes it away and has another inside shot, goalie rating, and it's going to be a save either defenseman. So we're getting some chances now, but, um, you know, we're down 2 nothing. We've got to generate some more chances. Holden, Holden takes the puck away, has an inside shot, but it's going to be a save by Vanacek, and he gives it to Zuccarello. So, um, Zuccarello has it, but he loses it to Tanev. And um, there is a penalty. Mark Giordano is going to the sin bin. And uh, this is old-time hockey, the old-time hockey association. So... We play with old-time rules in this league. That means that the penalty will last two minutes, even if there's a goal. Um, it goes the full two minutes. So we've got Brandon Gallagher with a... Um, um, let's see. I'm going to try to pass the puck with Gallagher. Inside shot for left wing. That's Saad getting another inside shot. Goal eight. And it is not, because Vanacek made the save. And so it is going to be a uh, face-off to Vanacek's right. Of course, that was only a 40% chance of scoring with a 1-8. to eight. Um, But let's see if we can come away with it. We can't, so Helm has it for him. And let's see. I'm going to give it to Saad. Let's give it to Saad. And uh, Saad has an outside shot option, but he can pass. I'm going to pass 60%. And we're going to give it to Suzuki in front and hope that he is not knocked. He isn't knocked off and he is in front. And that's going to be a goal, it looks like, for Suzuki. And there's still time left in the penalty. And this is, goes back to what I said about the old time hockey association. Um, Suzuki from Saad and Chris Wiedemann. But we still are on the power play for a minute four because. It goes the full two minutes, just like it did in the old days. Gallagher comes away with the puck, and uh, he loses it to Helm. He's got some guys getting tired out there. They're getting dogged. I'm going to give it to Saad for the shot, and we're going to try to penetrate with Saad. 
And uh, inside shot for any player, it's going to be, let's go Gallagher. Let's see what Gallagher can do. Um, he gets a goalie rating and a face-off. So it's going to be a face-off to Vanacek's right. And we are losing 2-1. to one, But we have the shot advantage now, 19-17, to 17, with 6.56 left in the second period. And uh, Nick Benino has an outside shot. I am gonna, I'm gonna try to penetrate with the Benino man. Probably shouldn't, and he did fail to penetrate. So the uh, uh, Avalanche had it, but Benino took it back, and he's going to lose it to the right defenseman on the shot. Um, Twenty-five percent chance. I'm gonna again say no. And Gerard, and this is a good, you know, I mean, I get I get to see this in action and see how some of my actions affect the game, and then I can adjust accordingly for when the real season comes. We got Tom Wilson picking up the puck. Tom Wilson feeds Suzuki, and he's got an inside shot, but it's going to be saved, and their right defenseman's going to come up with it. 447 left in the second period. And uh, we, we take the puck back, McNabb with an inside shot, and it's going to be another save, and their left wing is going to come away with it. We're down 2-1 with 4.16 left in the second period. Suzuki is going to take the outside shot, and that is going to fall harmlessly away after Vanacek makes the save, and Zuccarello now has the puck for him. I will try to intimidate at 55%. Doesn't it does work? And McNabb ends up with the puck, but he loses it to Makar. And there's 2:31 left in the second period. But I'm going to take it away, and uh, Tatar is going to have the outside shot, and we will let him take it. And it's going to be a uh, lose to the left wing, Van Riemsdyk. Now, that was a guy, he tried to trade to me, but I was like, nah, he's too old. Uh, I'm going to say no on the intimidation, so Ocposo is inside, shooting on Bobrovsky, and that's going to be another goal, come on! All right, so the Avalanche take a 3-1 to lead here as the uh, second period is about to end. It's a minute 54 left in the second period. And the uh, faceoff goes to us. Tanev has it. We're down by two. We are out shooting them easily, but we're down by two. And Van Riemsdyk is inside with an inside shot. Goalie rating, but it's a save, and we're going to give it back to Tanev, even though he lost it. And uh, that's going to be an inside shot for Ocposo again. Goalie rating again, and it's going to be a save any defensive player. And I am going to give it to Victor Olofsson, who is across from a C. Um, Mr. Tom Bunch's team does not have a lot of high penalty guys. He doesn't like those kinds of guys, and he doesn't keep them around if he doesn't have to. Lion A is going to have a shot, which is going to result in a rebound, and uh, that's the end of the second period. So we're going to start the third period down to three to one three to one we're out shooting the avalanche 23 to 21 but we are not out winning them on the scoreboard sod comes away with the puck but he loses it to rantanen and rantanen has the puck i'm going to try to intimidate at 35 percent failed to take the puck away and so mckinnon has an inside shot which is going to result in a save and the right wing coming away with it and that's tom wilson Tom Wilson is going to feed Savard, and Savard with an inside shot, but it's going to be a lose to the right wing. 18-22 left in the game, and we're down by two. Um, I, I, you know, now I'm going to intimidate, because I can't afford a goal. So let's see if there, there was no penalty on it, and I guess we took the puck away, yep. And Bailey now has the puck, Josh Bailey. From my real-life favorite team, the... Um, uh, Islanders. I don't have the Islanders in this league because they were already taken when I joined the league. So uh, let's see here. We are going to do a pass with Tatar. And uh, that is going to be a good pass to Lowry. Let's see what he can do. He's going to get a shot and it's going to result in a rebound. 
and we will take any offensive player. I'll give it to Bailey, even though he's not really a big goal guy, but let's see if he can do it here. He gets a goal nine, and the split is a 17. So it's going to be a face-off to the right of Vanacek. Oh, so close there. We had a 45% chance of making that goal, and it didn't happen. Makar comes away with the puck. We are going to uh, try to intimidate. Yes, and he failed to take it away, so Zuccarello is going to be uh, having an inside shot that's going to result in a rebound. And defensive center gets the shot if he's a three, but he isn't offensively, and so Evans comes away with it. Jake Evans, but he loses it to Confier, but then Evans gets it back again. And uh, he loses it again to Confier, and now Confier is going to have a shot, which will result in a save by Bobrovsky. And Suzuki with the puck with 14.29 left in the game. Our Canadians down 3-1. to one. And uh, let's see what's going to happen here. He feeds McNabb. Now not the greatest scoring guy around. But he does get a goalie rating and a goal. McNabb. <laughs> Brendan McNabb with a goal at the 13.53 mark. And uh, that means that we have... A game where we're only down by a goal with uh, 13.24 left. Plenty of time down by just a goal. But he penetrates inside with McKinnon trying to extend that lead again. And he does. Again, McKinnon will score. And now he's up 4-2. to two. We just cannot stop this onslaught. I mean, we did so well in the first period. We didn't allow him any goals in the first period. But since then, he's been a scoring demon on us. So it's 4-2 to two with 13-24 left. Tatar gets the puck off the um, faceoff, loses it to Jamie Benn, and Jamie Benn is inside. He's going to get a shot, which will result in a rebound. Any offensive player, he gives it to Makar. Makar is going to get a goalie rating, which uh, results in a save. Either defenseman will give it to Tanev. So we got to get going here pretty soon here. I mean, I don't know when I, how, you know, at what point I'm going to decide to pull the goalie. But uh, we're down by two. And uh, Tanev with an inside shot wrestling the puck away. And uh, it's going to be a save. And their right wing is going to come up with it. 11.40 left in the game. And Olafsson takes the puck away from Akposo. And... Jake Evans has an outside shot option. I am going to uh, I'm going to shoot the puck because he's not really good at passing and he isn't really good at getting inside either. It's going to be a save and the left wing comes away with it for him. But Tanner Jano has the puck, don't you know? And he is going to end up with a shot that is saved and goes to the left defenseman, and that is Graves, but Wilson takes the puck away, has an outside shot, but it's going to be a save again by Vanacek, left defenseman comes up with it, Graves, I should have put one of the bad goalies in for him, uh, Brandon Saad is going to have the puck, the shot, and let's see what happens with that, no penalty, and Saad is inside, and he is going to get a save defensive center. All those possible goals, and he comes up with a save. So now Suzuki takes the puck away, has an outside shot. It's going to result in a rebound. And uh, right wing, if he is a three, and that's Tom Wilson. He certainly is. But he's going to lose it to any player. You can't win with this. So Landeskog takes the puck. Now he does have a good team. I mean, he made the playoffs last year. Tatar in front. And he is going to get a goal, 16, and that's going to be a, a 10. So with 7.31 left in the game, we're down by a goal again. So it would be nice if we could actually get the game time goal with 7.31 left. We're out shooting it massively, 33 to 27. All right, maybe not massively. But Makar comes away with the puck, and Holden takes it away. He has an inside shot. And he is going to lose it to the left defenseman. So Makar has the puck again. Kale Makar. We're going to try to intimidate at 80%. And there is no penalty. 
So we take the puck away, and Jake Evans has it. And he loses it to Com Fear. There's 5.15 left. Evans gets it back again, though. Outside shot for the left wing, Olofsson. I'm going to try to penetrate with the Olofsson man. But he failed to penetrate. So we lose the puck to Petrangelo. 4.06 left. But Suzuki comes up with the puck. I am going to definitely give it to Suzuki. That's fine. And Nathan McKinnon comes up with a key penalty. So this is going to be for half of the rest of the game that we will be on the power play. So good shot, good, good chance for us. Um, I'm going to give it to Suzuki. I'm going to give it to Suzuki. Because I can pass or try to penetrate with him. I am going to try to pass with him. Got some good guys out there. But he, no, he loses the puck to Giordano. 356 left. I'm going to give it to Gallagher. Let's give it to Gallagher. The computer is saying give it to Gallagher. <coughs> I'm going to um, I'm going to try to pass with Gallagher. And inside shot for the left wing, Saad. Let's give it to Saad. I think he scored one of our goals. Saad is inside trying to score. And it's going to be a goal eight. And it's a three and it's a goal and we tie the game. Unbelievable. Oh, another thing I should mention. Um, Brandon Saad from Brendan Gallagher. This is the old time hockey association. So another old time rule is that if the game is a tie after three periods, it ends in a tie. There is no overtime. None. Not even five minutes. Not in any shout, shootouts. Nothing. And Saad has another inside shot. Can he do it two in just a couple of seconds? No, but it's going to be a shot and a rebound. Any offensive player gets the rebound. We're going to give it to Suzuki. And Suzuki inside. And he is going to come away with a rebound. Can we get it back again? And yes, we can. And Suzuki gets his own rebound, and he gets a goalie rating plus. Shouldn't that be a goal? No, I guess not. So Petrangelo comes away with the puck. I thought a plus was like an automatic goal, but I guess maybe. I don't know. Anyway, Brendan Gallagher. Yeah, I'm going to... I'll give it to Brendan Gallagher. There's 331 left. We're in a tie game, 4-4. Four, four. Um, I am... Brendan Gallagher is going to... Try, I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And inside shot for any player is the, res the ending result of that. We're going to give it to Suzuki inside. And that's going to be a lose any player. So Vanacek makes the save with 331 left. And uh, they have the puck, but they're still shorthanded for a minute 18 or so. Nope, that's it. The penalty's over. Zuccarello has it, and he feeds Makar right inside, and that's going to be a goalie rating, and a goal! Come on! Are you crazy? What's going on with Bobrovsky? All right, so now we're losing 5-4. to four. There is only two minutes left, so I am going to go to the... Um, I'm going to go to the uh, extra skater. We're going to take Bobrovsky out, and we're going to say pull the goalie. And the extra skater is going to be, yes, we're going to make it Nick Suzuki. We're going to run him into the ground on this. And so let's take the face off. 5-4, we're losing with a minute 51 left. Makar takes the puck for them, and um, Zuccarello has it. And Holden takes the puck away and has an inside shot, but... It's going to be a lose to the right defenseman with 39 seconds left in the game. Makar comes up with it again. And uh, we're going to try to, in to intimidate because we got to. But that's it. End of the game. We end up losing 5-4. We outshoot them 28-38. to Or 38-28. to the three stars of the game were Kale McCarr for Colorado, Johnny Goudreau for Colorado, and Brandon Saad for us. So uh, that is going to be it. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z. Bob Zolke, signing off.